If you're looking for magical Christmas lights, stunning markets, and a festive ambiance, then Cologne is a fantastic winter destination. Famed for its towering twin Gothic cathedral spires, rich Roman history, and Kölsch beer, Kern is located in Western Germany. The Kern Football Club is a historic football club and their mascot is a goat. Welcome to Cologne. We're here for the next few days to discover the best of Cologne at Christmas, including illuminations, Christmas markets, trees, and amazing food. So without further ado, let's go explore. Christmas market in German is Weihnachtsmarkt, and that's why you'll see these signs everywhere. Our first Weihnachtsmarkt was Stadtgarten, which is held in a public park a little way out of town, close to the Belgian Quarter. This is one of the clone Christmas markets with a more local feel, and you can expect to find all kinds of local wares for sale, including silver jewellery and handmade notebooks. We just arrived at our first Christmas market here in Cologne, and we're going to have some Rieberkuchen, which are potato kind of rosti served with applesauce, and it tastes a lot better than it sounds. When you come to the Christmas markets in Germany, you'll often have the choice between white wine and red mulled wine. You'll also be served it in this glass, which you'll have to pay a deposit for, but you can get your money at the end if you don't want to keep the glass. If it's raining during your time, then you can consider taking the tourist train, which has been dressed up for the festive season and will take you all around the different markets. Our next market was one of my personal favourites. Lying beneath a former town gate turned historic monument, the Nikolausdorf, i.e. St Nicholas Village, is home to adorable and illuminated chalets, including a children's workshop hut. The best time to visit is definitely at night, when the entire market is illuminated by hundreds, if not thousands, of twinkling lights. There's van show as well as other Christmas market food for sale. We're now at the Angel Market on Newmarkt. This is one of the most magical destinations in all of Europe come Christmas time. Everything is angel themed. There's sparkling, twinkling lights above. And above all of the Christmas market stands, there's little figures of angels. Also, all of the staff are dressed like angels. This is honestly a must-see for those who love a good theme market. Also, the food offerings are absolutely glorious. There's a traditional flammerkuchen, all kinds of bretzels, crepes, and of course, ribekuchen. There are also a number of gifts for sale. One of the smallest Christmas markets in Cologne lies in the shadow of yet another city gate and despite its tiny size, even has its own Christmas market mug. This is the market of Eigenstein Torberg, I hope I said that correctly, and there's not a great deal of stalls, but it's nice to listen to the live music and revel in the atmosphere. As you can see, we are now in front of the Cologne Cathedral, which is known as Kerner Dom in German. This building dates all the way back to 1248, though there's been a cathedral on site since the 4th century. The towers weren't actually completed until 1880, and upon their completion, the building was the tallest in the world for a period of time. The cathedral is the largest Gothic church in Northern Europe and is completely free to enter. You'll probably see the cathedral if you visit Cologne by train as it can literally be seen from within the central station. Step inside and you'll find all of the usual carvings, ornate stained glass windows and other architectural features you would expect from such a monument. The greatest draw of the cathedral is the Shrine of the Three Wise Men, which is believed to be the largest reliquary in the Western world. The crypt is free to visit and is home to the tomb of a number of bishops. As you can see, we've just arrived outside of Cologne Cathedral, where one of the most amazing Christmas markets takes place in the shadow of the Gothic Cathedral, which was once one of the tallest buildings in the world. The Kerner Dom Market is the most famous Christmas market in the city. Presided over by a towering 25 meter high Christmas tree, there are dozens of chalets selling everything from gifts to food stuff. We also really enjoyed the Christmas market mug here and took one home as a souvenir.
on the next street over you'll find one of the most amazing christmas pyramids i've ever seen and all around it there are stalls selling mulled wine the next market that we're going to take you to is one that we love so much that we visited both during the daytime and at night Each of the specific markets have their own opening times, but typically they'll be open from mid-afternoon until around 10 p.m. However, the best time to visit is definitely during the evening, after dark, around 5 p.m., as this is when you'll see the beautiful illuminations and everything is bathed in a golden glow. This Christmas market is fairy tale themed and you'll find little gnomes decorating pretty much everything. Set across Altamarkt and Humarkt, we loved the design of the mugs at this market so much that we ended up keeping one. We're now having our fourth Glühwein of the winter market and we're at Heinzel's Weinach Marken. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, the most interesting interesting thing about all of these glue vines, I eat mulled wines, is that they all taste a bit different and so you never know quite what you'll expect. The other great thing about this Christmas market is that it's home to an outdoor skating rink that boasts 100 meter long straights, meaning that it's perfect for all abilities. While it's definitely better to head to the skating rink during the day as there are fewer crowds, you'll have to go back to the market at night in order to enjoy all of the illuminations. There are also a number of rides including a vintage ferris wheel, though I probably wouldn't go on this if you've had too many glue vines. If you're not too tired of checking out cozy winter markets under historic city gates, then yet another one is Severin's Tourbug. Wow, these names are kind of hard to say. This market comprises of a single strip of market stalls, and there's not a great deal of variety here. Instead, it's a great chance to escape the crowds of the main markets and snack on foods such as pasta and waffles. The final area of Cologne that you'll want to explore is next to the River Rhine. Now, when you're there, you'll definitely want to check out the Fish Market, which is home to some pretty pastel-hued houses. We've just arrived at the Harbour Christmas Market, and this is a bit unique in that it's actually nautically themed, and so you can buy fresh fish and also get glue vine from a boat. This market is situated right next to the Chocolate Museum, and if you're lucky with the weather like we were, then the surrounding platforms and boardwalks provide excellent views of the River Rhine. It was also at this market that we spied a number of people dressed as Santas on jet skis. Since this market is intense, rather than traditional wooden chalets, it definitely feels a little less festive. However, you can still find traditional food and drinks being served like mandel. We also opted to get one last lot of Christmas market food before leaving Cologne. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like for more travel movies. See you next time.